I started out uh, with my roots in social activism. I was an environmentalist and worked really hard on issues such as women's rights, immigrant, immigrant rights, and environmental rights. And that was my main focus in high school, also in college. And then uh, traveled a bit in my early 20s, had my son, was a single mom, and saw a job at an organic farm for a volunteer coordinator. So I got into farming through my grassroots organizing uh, position in the community. And I uh, wanted to have food security for my son and I wanted to work in a healthy environment. And that's how I got into organic farming. So we're not a certified organic farm, but we are uh, 25 acres of farmland in Sebastopol that is uh, being grown without pesticides. And um, we, uh, we have a CSA program where over 400 people come to our farm and get a box of produce uh, either every week or every other week. We're also at farm stands. Uh, we have a small uh, wholesaler that we distribute vegetables through and also work with a couple of restaurants. Uh, something I'm really proud uh, to have implemented in the past few years is we accept uh, EBT, CalFresh food stamps, whatever you want to call it, and uh, we do so uh, with dignity. We invite people to come that are want to swipe their card as an alternative form of payment, and when they use that form of payment, we give them extra money to shop in our farm stand. And that's uh, a pretty big difference uh, in the farm that I've implemented over the few years. Being somebody that was uh, a recipient of CalFresh myself, I felt like there was some, some judgment when I went to the store and used my card. If I was buying organic, if I was buying fair trade, if I was buying quality food, I kind of felt like the checker was going, oh, you should be buying you know, generic brands with your money. And I felt like, um, because I, I was feeding my son and I wanted to support the organic industry, I felt like my dollar was my vote and I wanted to use this federal money in a good way. And, uh, uh, but that was many years ago and uh, I wanted, once I uh, owned my own farm, I wanted to allow people and encourage people to use their, their food stamps in a way um, that also promoted uh, sound <coughs> environmental practice and social justice and CSA farming and local agriculture, uh, but without shame with dignity. Uh, I, I just think GMOs are creepy, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm creeped out by it. And uh, I think uh, if, if, oh, so speaking to your, your question, if a food is labeled organic, it's non-GMO. So while GMO foods might not be labeled um, non-GMO, so non-GMO foods might not be labeled non-GMO, if they are labeled organic, then they're not GMO. So that's, um, that's one way that the consumer can learn a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I don't know, GMO animals, it's just, it's just, it just creeps me out until we learn a little bit more about it. And maybe in 20 years, we're gonna look at this video and think, oh my gosh, we've learned so much more since then. And, um, but we haven't yet. And that's, that's where I am with organics, is the more you learn, or with parenting, or with the environment, or with social justice, the more you learn, the more you know, the better you can do. And until we learn more about GMOs, I am, kind of old school with my food. Yeah, I like it, I like it the natural way. I like it the way that we have been growing it and, uh, and I, feel, I feel safer eating that food. And I think it's better for the animals too. Hi, my name is Ethan Martinez. Hi, my name is Reina Vallejo. Hi, my name is Mauricio Santiago. Hi, my name is Javier Hernandez. My name is Elvia Naja. Hi, my name is William Bucan. <laughs>